It's sour. It has to stop. Well, hello, hello, and hello, Big Angry Phil with another goofy-ass news story, but let's face it, anything that comes out of the mainstream media these days is a goofy-ass news story. And you can't take these people seriously anymore. They're all about pushing an agenda and nothing else. They've all been corrupted, they've all been bought, they've all been paid for. And we keep getting shit like this. In the attempt to push the climate change narrative over the edge, again, narrative above all, that's always how their way of thinking is, narrative above all. They don't care about you or your health or your safety or your children's safety. It's all about the narrative. And they will push this climate change narrative until the day you die. All right? That's what they keep telling us. We keep gonna, we're going to die, uh, what, a couple of years ago? Now it's eight years from now, 2030. Everything has to change by 2030 or else we're going to die. Or they're going to kill us. That's why we keep seeing stories like this. Lawns are racist because everything is racist now. If, you're, if you own anything, uh, you're racist. And if you're not white and you own something, you're still racist and you're loaded with white supremacy because clown world. And we also have more recent articles like this one from the LA Times, opinion, of course, everything coming out of the mainstream media is pretty much an opinion, why your green grass is making the temperature rise. Now, well, green grass is bad. Yep. Green grass is bad. Well, let's start with lawns are racist and make pollution and climate change worse because GWL, guilty white liberals, do not want you to have anything because they feel so guilty about having anything because they have been corrupted and brainwashed by the mainstream media and the politicians to accept the fact that they should completely feel guilty about doing anything, being anything, owning anything, accomplishing anything. They much rather have a welfare state where big daddy government just hands everything down to you in exchange for all of your freedom. That's what they want. And here, here's a part of it here. Uh, this climate change shit. We're in the middle of summer. And of course, it's all climate change, climate change, climate change. This hot weather is climate change. Not at all weather modification to push a narrative. Not at all harp to push a narrative. Not at all chemtrail spraying to push a narrative. Not at all setting brush fires to push a narrative. No, we call them wildfires. By the way, we've had the biggest snowpack here in California in quite a long time. They're still skiing in Mammoth Mountain right now. There's still snow there. I don't want to hear one word out of this butt wipe uh, Gavin Newsom about how there's a drought. Do not want to hear it. We don't want natural things. We don't. We want you all living in a big, ugly apartment building all on top of each other, piled up on top of each other. That's what we want. While we, the elitist cocksuckers, get to enjoy our fucking lawns, our many cars, and our private airplanes. While, you, while we tell you to stop driving, stop using gas stoves, stop using air conditioning, stop using refrigerators, and, and stop eating meat, and stop having lawns. Because all of that is racist, and you are a racist. Anything they don't like, you are a racist. Anything they don't want you to do, you are a racist. And lawns are racist. Lawns are racist. That's right. If you own a lawn, you might as well just put a big old Confederate flag right on their front porch, because you are a racist. Well, okay. Well, so... Only white folks can have lawns, right? I've never seen a black person with a lawn in my life. What about Jay-Z? What about Jay-Z's big old mansion right here in Southern California? I'm sure there's no lawn there, right? I'm sure it's just all fake grass and concrete, right? Oh, oh, hmm, hmm, well. Well, then what do we call Jay-Z? Is Jay-Z a racist? Or is he allowed to have a big, giant fucking lawn? Well, certainly Will Smith wouldn't have a big, giant fucking lawn in his mansion. Oh, Wait a minute. Yes, he does. Where's that? Calabasas? Where it's dry pretty much everywhere else? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Nice big lawn you got there, Will Smith. Well, certainly Oprah Winfrey, who's talked to us many times about climate change, certainly would have a big lawn in front of one of her many fucking mansions. Oh, here's just one of them. Hmm. Awful lot of lawn going on there. Oprah must be racist, right? Oh, no. I have a little patch of grass outside my tiny house. I'm a fucking racist. Why do we listen to these people? Why do we take articles like this seriously? And they keep pushing this too. I know this was written a few years ago, but every year this comes up. Every year, lawns are racist. Every year, 
they, they made climate change worse. And uh, now we have this one from the LA Times, why your green grass is making the temperature rise. That's funny, I always had thought green grass was helpful to the planet. No, it's not. And, and listen to this guilt trip laid by this uh, liberal writer. When you fired up your gas grill, look at look at all the, the shaming they tried to do here. When you fired up your gas grill, to be electric, throw out two juicy steaks, how dare you eat meat, sip water out of a convenient plastic bottle, which, uh, yeah, again, you must be racist if you're doing any of these things. And you know, I'm at my own house, I don't use water bottles, okay? I pour it in a nice glass with ice cubes in it. That's how I enjoy my water. And cranked up the heat in the pool, of course, because all Americans, if they have lawns and gas grills, they must have a big pool, right? But clearly, these are fucking out of touch, fucking libs who have no idea what's going on. But again, they think everybody should live in a big, ugly apartment building all on top of each other, banging on the walls, banging on the ceilings, yelling and screaming at the top of their lugs, and using up a hell of a lot more water than the single family home they bulldozed to uh, build this 50 unit apartment building. They did that in my old neighborhood. Uh, the house I used to live in, all that, there was a row of bungalows there. And they put up this 100 unit ugly apartment building there. Unbelievable, but yeah, you feel guilty. You feel guilty, you white man, you cis white man, for being a cis white man and for having a lawn. You're racist, you're racist. Klaus Schwab says so, George Soros says so, Oprah Winfrey says so, and she's got many, many fucking lawns. So how does that make you feel? No grass for you, no grass for you, and no grass for you. Well, here's something for you, you elitist cocksuckers. Suck on that, news media, and suck on that, politician. Stop listening to these people. Stop giving them what they want. Stop surre Don't surrender your gas grill. Tell them to fuck off when they say turn off your air conditioner. It's 105 degrees in the middle of summer. I'm turning my air conditioner on. I know you guys have fucked the electrical grid up, but fuck you. It's hot. I'm turning on the AC. That's what it was made for. All right? And don't think the billionaire cocksuckers aren't doing the same damn thing. They're cranking up that AC in those hundred room mansions they got. In every single room, whether they're in it or not. Don't let these people guilt trip you. All right? Do what you fucking want to do. Tell them to go fuck themselves. All right. Thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell. We'll see what I'm going to come up with next. All right. Until then, I will see you later.